So these are the babies we have after all hatching is done. Right in here. Um, so we ended up with 15. So 12 of these black looking ones that I think must be lavender orpington crosses. And then three um, yellow orpingtons. Um, but two of those little guys really had a hard time getting out of the shell. So I don't think that they're going to survive. Um, the one is doing okay. Her feathering is kind of odd, but um, I think she's mostly all right. But one of them, I've not even seen her come out to feed yet. Because she's just really weak and she can hardly even walk. So I did take her out and put her in front of the food and water and just watched her to see if she would eat, but she never did. Um, and that is definitely worrisome. I was gone all day today and I'm going to be gone all day tomorrow, so I can't really observe her eating habits. I don't know if she's going to starve to death or not. I mean, she's still here, so it stands to reason that she must have eaten during the day, but I don't know um, 100%. I'm trying to think when exactly she got out of the cell. I mean, it's possible that she, she's still kind of living off the yolk. I don't know if she's gonna ever come out to feed. I mean, I've been watching them and they're pretty much all eating, except for her, <laughs> at some point or another. Um, this one here that just came out, that little golden chick, she's the other one that, um, that I had to help out of the shell yesterday, late last night. She was actually born in my hand, which was pretty cool. I think she'll survive. She's definitely weaker, but I think she'll be alright. But the other one, I mean, as you can see, like, as we're watching here, not, she's not come out once. So, and she can barely walk, too. She definitely has an injury. I don't know if it's both legs that are injured, or if it's just one. I couldn't really tell, because she's not out long enough, but she can at least stand up, but she's not really been moving around too much and when she tried to she kind of got pushed around by the stronger chicks so yeah I don't know I don't know if she's gonna survive I would hope she'd come out at some point and eat later you know when everyone's kind of died down a little bit maybe but I just don't see it I don't see her doing that because she's not even trying to come out right now she has to be hungry but I think she knows that she's just gonna get, she's just gonna end up getting hurt, being pushed around by all the other chickens. So, I don't know. And we did lose one this morning, I guess. I wasn't around to see it. Um, when I left for work this morning, she was trying to come out, and then Andy um, told me later that he found it in the morning when he was going to work a little bit later than me. Um, he saw that it was a black one like these, um, and apparently it, it just got stuck to the shell or something, and or the umbilical cord didn't detach properly, and it like bled to death, which is really sad. I'm glad I didn't have to see that, um, but he found her dead in the morning, so that's pretty, that's pretty sad. So it would have been 16 chicks, but no, it didn't work. And if this one chick doesn't survive, then it'll be 14. So that's still a pretty good yield, I think, for my first time trying to chick, trying to uh, hatch chick. So, yeah, all told, pretty good. Remains to, to be seen if these guys will survive, though. We'll do our best. Yeah, she still hasn't come out. It's kind of a feeding frenzy right now, though, so maybe when things calm down, she'll come out. But then she's going to have to try to push her way through all these other chickens, and I just don't think she's going to do it. So, I don't know. Probably end up finding her starving to death. She wouldn't survive anyway with that bumblefoot. I mean, she can't even barely walk, so it's just a matter of time.
which is really sad, but that is the hard part about raising animals, you know? They're not all going to make it, so it is what it is, but so yeah, this is their little home that I created that you guys saw me put together. Um, the reason why I'm using a flashlight is because it's late at night and it's dark, so... <laughs> I just refilled their water, and put some stones in there so they can't drown in the water, gave them some fresh food, they've got their heater that they love, <laughs> just like a mother hen, like their little fake mom. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how they go in the next couple days and I'm going to start some more chicks immediately, just got to clean out the incubator and gather some more eggs. I've already got 14 sitting on the countertop, so I think the incubator fits like 30, so a couple more days we should be ready to try to hatch another brood and see how it goes. So, the baby, the one that, uh, that had a hard time getting out, Shy Girl, and the biggest one the first one to hatch, that one is Bully. And there was a beast in here somewhere, but I don't know which one that is now. They all look the same at this point. <laughs> I did find one that had really cool white markings by his beak. But I don't know what I'm going to name him yet. But he had some pretty cool markings around his beak. He had, like, striping. It was pretty cool. So, yeah. So those are my little Bruno chickies. They're so cute. I love watching them peck at food. It's so amazing to me that they can actually eat right out of the shell like that. Like there's, there's like no transition time. They just dry off and then suddenly they can eat food and drink water like nobody's business. And they know just what to do. They just go out and do it. No mom to show them what to do. They just, it's all instinct. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but you can see that they all have that white feathering on their necks. the neck there. They're all, they're all wearing tuxedos. <laughs> it's so funny and they all have white tips on their on their wings and it's just a very unique color. I just think it's hilarious though that they all look the same. <laughs> I mean yeah I know they're crossed with the same parents pretty much but you'd still think there'd be some variety in a cross you know. Some of them should look at least a little Brahma but I guess the Brahma is what gave him the tuxedo. <laughs> Everything else is lavender. So, yeah, it'll be exciting to see how they feather out. I'm really curious to see what they're going to look like when they're grown up. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm going to say goodnight for now. And I will take another video tomorrow.